Hello guys, my name is Andrei, welcome back. Uh, today I'll explain my workflow uh, related to Hugging Face Transformer uh, model usage um, in ML applications. Uh, you know, uh, when you take uh, uh, Hugging Face model, um, most likely you would need to fine-tune uh, the model with your own data to make it um, uh, usable for specific tasks. Uh, after model is fine-tuned, then you would like to use it for the inference, and um, yeah, this is the typical flow. But uh, when you do development, um, it's not uh, convenient to use um, uh, collab uh, environment for the for the complete development lifecycle. Uh, typically, you would use um, Google Collab uh, for fine-tuning. Afterwards, you would uh, prefer to uh, take the model from the cloud uh, on your own environment and uh, run this uh, model on your own environment because when you do um, application logic implementation uh, it simply doesn't work to, uh, to run it on google collab because google collab uh, runs uh, notebooks and and that's all but application implementation is much more uh, it's uh, application logic data entry data processing and, and so on and uh, ml model um, invocation it may be just uh, twenty percent of entire uh, application flow. So, uh, so uh, for development convenience, you must uh, uh, run model inside your application, and typically you do development on 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 your own computer. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll see how it works. And basically, my idea is to explain uh, how uh, what type of workflow I'm using, and uh, maybe this will be useful for you as well. Okay, so first of all, when uh, you have uh, when you want to use um, Hugging Face Transformer model, as I said uh, before, probably you would need to fine tune it with your own data. So in this example, um, using uh, layout LM v2 uh, model, which helps to extract uh, information about uh, documents from uh, scanned uh, files or images. Okay, and we do uh, fine tuning here. Uh, in four epochs, uh, model is fine-tuned with custom data, and afterwards, when uh, training do job is done, then model is is, uh, is saved into um, uh, into Google Drive, right? And uh, yeah, later from this Google Drive, I can take the model and download it to my own environment and use it. So this is uh, if I, if I switch to uh, PyCharm and Basically, uh, I have uh, uh, application where this model is being reused, and this is uh, the place where model is saved in model score um, directory. So this is the uh, bin file and JSON file. I downloaded it uh, from uh, Google Drive, uh, and these files were generated as a result of um, Hugging Face Transformer model fine tuning. Okay, then we have some uh, data uh, uh, that was used for model training, and we we could use the same uh, data for model validation uh, locally, for example. And this application is on uh, GitHub, and I'll uh, include the URL to the application uh, below the video. And I'm actually actively developing this application, uh, adding new functionality, so the source code may change. Okay. But the main uh, uh, flow would remain the same. So there's a main uh, script, and <clears throat> there's a main function in the main script, and we call um, process document function. And for the convenience, for local development convenience, I uh, have uh, three imports, and two of them are commented. And uncommented uh, uh, import is the one that actually <clears throat> the the logic which I'm working on now. Uh, this is related to uh, model evaluation, and from all three imports, we are getting the same uh, functions just for convenience, so that we don't need to change the code in, in the main function. And again, this is done uh, for research purpose mainly, and it's not final like production code. This is just like a proof of concept uh, uh, to improve, to, to simplify the development of proof of concept. Uh, we're using this approach. So we have process document function. It comes from uh, evaluate uh, script. And yeah, this function does nothing, it just prints information, but uh, uh, yeah, in the root of the script, we are including uh, Python code, which typically would go into the notebook, but uh, as soon as this Python script is loaded, then um, 
uh, Python uh, virtual machine basically it will execute the same code as uh, it would run on a notebook and uh, you don't need to call um, any any function explicitly you just put it on a root folder again this is uh, as I mentioned before this is not a production code this is just a quick um, prototype and a simple way to uh, copy uh, code from existing notebook into a Python script and, and run it in a simple way without wrapping uh, code into, into separate functions. Okay, so what we do here, we are reusing the model which was trained on Google Colab. So we scroll down and this is uh, a processor and if you scroll down over here, this is the place where we are uh, reading uh, basically opening model uh, which we downloaded from Google Colab on our local environment and we're using from pre-trained method and we're pointing to the model's um, uh, court uh, directory. So uh, the PyTorch uh, bin file from which is located in this uh, root directory will be loaded and model will be initialized on the runtime and uh, will execute um, whatever actions we want. In this case, we're executing model evaluation and we're using uh, test data and calling uh, predict, predict function uh, in this way over here uh, by referring to the model which was loaded uh, from the local uh, folder. Okay, and yeah, we're using all those uh, hugging face libraries, um, uh, then PyTorch and uh, like uh, Torch Vision and Detectron libraries locally. The same one, the same uh, libraries as uh, we were using on Google Club, uh, call up to fine tune the model. If we would open a Docker file, we can see uh, that we install Torch uh, 1.10, the Detectron 2 is installed and uh, under the requirements, then we see that uh, Hanging Face Transformers, uh, along with all the other uh, libraries, are uh, installed. Uh, the libraries that are required by uh, Layout LM v2 model. And why I have Docker file uh, here is because I'm constructing a Docker image, and all the dependencies like uh, PyTorch, uh, Detectron, and so on, uh, all of them are installed into the Docker image. And because I'm using uh, PyCharm uh, Professional Edition which is not free, uh, you, you need to pay for that, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, PyCharm, how it works, and it saves uh, lots of time, and <clears throat> it brings a lot of convenience for me while uh, coding Python, so I, I prefer to pay for that uh, professional edition and use it, uh, because it improves my productivity. So uh, professional edition, it uh, allows to define a remote interpreter, which comes from the Docker container. So you need to build a Docker image uh, with all the dependencies that uh, you would need to run a Python script, like uh, this uh, script here, like evaluate script from the main script. So you create image with all the dependencies and, and then uh, in PyCharm preferences um, under yeah, build execution, you can specify uh, that you want to use uh, uh, Docker and yeah, basically you define the connection to your uh, local Docker for Mac, like in this case, and and then uh, uh, I can define, for example, I can add new inter interpreter, and this can be um, interpreter running on Docker. And you need to specify image name, which you would you would like to use for this um, interpreter, and because image. It's already built, uh, it's already um, available on um, Docker instance, then uh, PyCharm will use this image and it will, it will initiate um, temporary container. And this temporary container will, will obviously will have all the dependencies uh, you need to, uh, to run your, your script. And as soon as script execution will complete, this um, uh, temporary container will be destroyed. So that's uh, the main convenience and main benefit of this uh, functionality is that you don't need to uh, install uh, libraries uh, directly on your uh, uh, OS environment. And uh, like I'm using macOS, for example, and to uh, it's not so simple to, extron, uh, to install Detectron uh, library on macOS because it comes uh, out of the box uh, with Linux uh, distribution. But since I'm using 
uh, Docker image uh, based on uh, on Linux uh, distribution. I can simply install the Tecron uh, there, and then through uh, PyCharm remote interpreter functionality, I can use this uh, Linux image as uh, interpreter to run my Python scripts. And then I don't need to have any VMs uh, or whatever. I just can use uh, PyCharm on Mac OS and use remote interpreter to run uh, scripts with complex dependencies. Yeah, and the way it works, I can simply run and uh, new container is instantly created and I can check that by uh, listing container names. So we got new container and then if you go back over here we see that um, uh, evaluation script is running and um, uh, there are 50 steps are executed uh, to uh, to complete um, evaluation procedure for, for the model quality. And yeah, you may ask uh, why uh, I need to run uh, locally at all, because maybe I could r just run on GPU, on, on Google Colab or whatever, on any other provider. But uh, the main thing is, uh, yeah, we need to fine tune model on GPU and probably uh, yeah, using uh, Google uh, um, Colab is, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's good and, uh, and uh, option that makes sense, but then, uh, as we have the model fine tuned, we can we can take this model, download it to our local environment, and we can keep using this model. And just think, uh, <clears throat> uh, Google Colab is uh, a notebook environment, but uh, when you build your application, you have um, different functionality to implement, like uh, maybe UI, data processing, data entry, uh, transaction management, and so on. And uh, for some. At some point in the logic flow, you you may call the model to execute the inference and get back the result. So this means the model is not the central uh, thing; it's uh, like a, uh, it's uh, assets in in the application. And for that reason, you cannot use Colab as a main uh, um, block of your application. You need to use model which is fine tuned and which is part of your own application that runs on your own environment. And for that reason. Uh, you should be able to take the model, download it, and uh, uh, run it locally. Yeah, so this is uh, the workflow. And to summarize, um, I'm using Google Colab to fine tune the model. Then I'm downloading the model and running it locally. Uh, and I'm using PyCharm interpreter uh, uh, because it allows to uh, consume Docker image with. Uh, with all the complex dependencies installed into that image. And through um, remote interpreter, I could execute uh, Python script with complex dependencies and I could uh, execute uh, uh, <clears throat> hugging face transformer model um, uh, inference action and get back results. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.